I was going to, there, there is a lot of things coming out in the press um, hour by hour about um, my breakup with the CR Club. I'm going to hold that conversation for the Q&A. Um, but I wanted to introduce myself by saying that um, the CR Club did, um, in, a, in the review of the first of my trilogy of books on environmental health, um, give me this uh, unofficial title, the, the modern Rachel Carson. Of course, my own publicists love that, and so it became part of my um, identity ever since, um, and appears on all my book jackets and um, uh, my bio and so forth. Uh, and uh, it means a lot to me, so I, I thank the Sierra Club for that. Um, and Rachel Carson, who was herself a biologist and a writer, um, and her most famous work, Silent Spring, was published when I was just three years old. And it's, it's fitting for me, uh, I feel, because she's my role model in, in all the work that I do, um, to be here on women, in Women's History Month, um, because really she, as a woman scientist, um, blazed the trail and sort of planted the vineyards that I now labor in. Mm -hmm. And a, a lot has changed in the, um, the three decades between her adult lifespan and my own. And one of those things is, um, the ability for women to talk about their own experience and consider that and, and, and have it be considered authoritative and interesting and, and worthy of conversation. So um, Rachel Carson and I had basically three things in common. We were both women biologists who left a lab bench to write about science for the public. So we're both writers and biologists. Um, and we had a, have a third thing in common, which is that we're both cancer patients. But Carson lived in utter fear that her cancer would be discovered by her enemies in industry um, and used to impeach her science. Um, she felt that if she talked about carcinogens and their ability, um, uh, pesticides that can cause cancer, uh, and their ability to insinuate themselves into our body from the, the trace amounts in the food we eat and, and make the case that this actually raises our risk for cancer, that if she revealed that she herself had breast cancer, that um, that she would then be considered not an objective scientist anymore. So I set out to write, well, the first of my three books on environmental health, Living Downstream, was modeled after Simon Spring. But I decided deliberately to do something different, which is to actually write about um, my own cancer experience and interweave it um, with my um, best attempt as a biologist to summarize what we know about the environmental links to cancer. So um, I'm going to open by showing you a film clip, the trailer um, that, of the film adaptation based on that film moving downstream, and you'll see uh, in the film clip the, um, kind of an homage um, from me to, to Rachel Carson. And in uh, this uh, month of Women's History Month, that's the keynote that I'd like to start with. So here's um, a three-minute clip of the film version.